Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Okay, uh, when we talk about the conditioning of the bodybuilders today, uh, especially what we saw in the last Olympia, and we compare them to the conditioning of the bodybuilders back in the 90s uh, and early 2000s, uh, it seems that the bodybuilders back then were came in better conditioning on a whole. Now, some people will argue that, well, today's bodybuilders are a lot bigger than they were back then, and it's not as easy to hit the conditioning on a larger bodybuilder than it is of a bodybuilder that's not carrying as much muscle. Okay, let's take a look. Dorian Yates, for one. Now, okay, some people, people might say, yeah, yeah, he ushered in the air with a mass monster, but by today's standards, he wouldn't be considered that big. Well, his stage weight was around 260s, 265, at about 5'10". So even by today's standards, that's a big man. Uh, if, there was, if you had a time machine and you could transport him, that Dorian, fast forward him to now, and you have him stand next to the lineup in the big shows, he's going to still overpower most of the competitors. He's He was a big man, and he brought conditioning. He brought chisel conditioning at his best. Uh, Paul Dillette, a massive man. He's a monster of a man, and... He always brought conditioning. Nasa El Sambate, I believe he stepped on stage, contest weighed about 270. Conditioned. Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, uh, both of them pushed 270 at their best on stage, and they were conditioned. Marcus Rule. Granted, he wasn't the prettiest, didn't have the prettiest physique to look at, but man, the guy was a monster. He was massive, and he always brought conditioning. Uh, what was it, some sort of secret formula that these big guys had that it was louder than bringing the conditioning? We had a these the big guys now can seem to do no there's no magic formula is it is it harder for a big man to get in condition is it harder for a bigger man to get in condition than it is for a smaller man no not at all it's to uh Maybe the the training and diet has to be different. Uh, it, it's different. They have to do things a little differently, but it's not harder. And to go and use that excuse that it's harder doesn't sit well with me. It's not harder, it's just different. What you need to do is figure out why you're not hitting the conditioning that you're supposed to. Figure out what you need to do differently to hit that conditioning and do it. To cl conclude the, vi the video, when the bodybuilders of today say that it's harder for us to get in conditioning that they, like they did back in the 90s was with big, bigger bodybuilders. Doesn't hold much water. I named a whole list of 
very big men from the 90s and early 2000s that hit the conditioning, and I'm sure I missed a few others. It's not harder, just different. Figure out what you need to do differently and do it. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. And I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.